Hmm. Not exactly welcoming. I'd better find a way to the refuge. The refuge must have been a popular destination for vacationers. How oh, nice. Hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. No one here. Hardly surprising. No one here. Hardly surprising. It's so beautiful, so calm. But what am I doing here? Well, they say bad things come in threes. First mother's death, then poor Katusha, and now Oscar. I can't believe I've lost him again. Am I doomed or what? Thank goodness I've still got the girl in the painting. Something to hang my hopes on. But maybe I'm just kidding myself. And why me? Why not Katusha? Why did she have to die? It's like... Like this painting has chosen me. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful place. Don't know what I expect to find here, though. Yet somehow it feels right. Can't say why. I mean, why am I so sure this mountain refuge has anything to do with the painting? Maybe I'm just a hopeless optimist, or a lost dreamer. <sighs> I guess there's only one way to find out. Herr Müller was right. It's quite a walk to the refuge. Well, I guess the sooner I head out, the sooner I get there. Bit too close to the edge, if you ask me. I should find a safer spot. Wow, what a fantastic view. I should try and find a better spot to admire it from. That is stunning. That is stunning. I 
better be careful here. Too many fallen trees and wobbly rocks for my liking. I should follow the path to reach the refuge. Now what do we have here? doesn't look old at all. In memory of all mountain resistance fighters. Hmm. Too bad I can't take a break. That would have been a nice place to sit for a minute. Too bad I can't take a break. That would have been a nice place to sit for a minute. Looks like all sorts of wild animals live in these mountains. Hiking tips? Thanks, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Well, that was one heck of a walk. Oh, come on. A ladder now? Uh, okay, let's just do this. Pretty sure... There must be another way. Oh.
Finally. Oh. That must provide energy to the refuge. That must provide energy to the refuge. seen that before. That must be it. Now I should try to find a matching point somewhere. Beautiful sky in either case, but that's not enough. Those sharp peaks, they look exactly the same. Just what I was looking for. Perfect. That's not specific enough to draw any solid conclusions. Okay, a lot of rocks over there, and in the painting, but I need some more specific comparison points. No matching points here. I should try something else. Looks similar, sure, but it could just be a coincidence. I need to find more accurate clues. I should compare the painting to that view to be sure I'm at the right place.
That rock wall, it can't be a coincidence. Wow, hardly changed at all. Breathtaking, isn't it, Fräulein? Beautiful. It is called the Silberspiegel, our local pride. Judging from my painting, it wasn't that different 60 years ago. Ma'am, is everything all right? Yes. It's just that you look very much like the person in the picture, Fräulein. So, you do know her then, don't you? Can't say I don't, but it was a very long time ago. Actually, I've come a very long way to find out about her. I would really like to know who she is, or was. It's very important to me, you see? And why is that, Fräulein? You said so yourself. We look very much alike, right? I see. By the way, what is your name? Oh. Walker. Kate Walker. I am Lenny. Lenny Renner. Nice to meet you, Frau Lenny. Demoiselle, my dear. My legs never did manage to get me to church in time. Oh. Demoiselle Lenny. Well, Fräulein Walker, 1937, you say? Ah, that was before the war, when I could still run like the fawn wind. Father was the manager in those days. It was one summer evening that the whole story of your painting began. I remember it like it was yesterday. A group of scientists were staying at the refuge to prepare for an expedition to some faraway place in the east. They were being trained by a local alpinist who was to guide them. His name was Leon Kabatis. Oh, handsome as a Greek god he was, and an Olympic champion no less, very popular with the ladies. And he was lovely to me would give me a wink and a smile whenever I served him his beer. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny, he would say. In French, if you please. Made me feel like a proper little madam. But then Frau Junta would always shoo me away. Frau Junta? Must have been in her mid-twenties. But of course, to me, she was an old hag. Past it. And I didn't like the way she bossed my Leon around with that camera of hers. The refuge was buzzing, everyone was jolly, and the scientists were there, debating as usual about this and that. A cheerful bunch, really, despite their disputes. Except, that is, for one. Frank Hoss was his name. Preferred his own company. Though I could see, even with my young eyes, he was devious as the devil. But what about the girl in the picture? Well, she was there that evening, too. She had come to work through the summer. Her name was Dana. Dana Rose. Ah, oh, she was as cute as a button and well-mannered with it. Even father was sweet as a lamb to her. Take care of the scientist drinks, then go around taking orders, and have a look at the stove while you're at it. Yes, Herr Gustav. Will you be all right now, Dana? It's the first busy night since you started, so just ask if there's anything you need to know. All right, my lovely? Thank you, Herr Gustav. I'd be grateful if you could give me a few pointers. Oh, there's not much to it, really. Keep up your smile and the twinkle in your eye. Add that to a bit of friendly banter, and you'll soon have them eating out of your hand, my girl. But what should I talk about? For a start, people love to speak about themselves, right? But make sure you have an escape line ready, in case they drag on, or if things become uh, inappropriate. Especially when they've had one or two too many. 
So stay on your guard and you'll be fine. Smile, banter, guard up. Got it. That's it. Because you don't want old Gustav having to wade in and pull you out of trouble. You hear me, Dana? Don't worry, Herr Gustav. I'll be fine. Off you trot then, my lovely. Keep smiling, and you'll have them carrying your tray for you. I need to serve those drinks to the scientists. Theana, huh? No, we can do better. Better not interrupt them. That Frau Junta wasn't exactly friendly earlier with Lenny. It's a beautiful evening. Mother was right about the pure air up here. Everything seems so right, so utterly clear. I'm so thrilled. My first job. I'll be able to earn enough until September to pay for a new year of study at the Music Academy. I'm truly looking forward to it. Everything seems to be working out at last. I feel like... like this is a turning point in my life. Just imagine... One day, Dana Rose, concert pianist. Come on, Leon, show me your energy, your youth. Oh dear, you look more like my old Aunt Helga.
Another creation of Herr Gustav. Madonna laces. Hmm. The Silberspiegel, the heart-shaped rock face that gave its name to the refuge. According to Herr Gustav, only the most seasoned alpinists can climb it. The highest peak in the region. Little Lenny said that it's the keeper of the border with Switzerland, and that it's supposed to feed on the souls of those who have been swept away by the mountain. This path leads to Switzerland. One needs to be guided by an alpinist to go through it, though. The Devil Pass starts here. The end of the road for an inexperienced hiker like me, I guess. A bit more to the side, darling, please. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. Lenny, sweetheart? Crikey! You nearly made me jump out of my skin. What have you got there? Oh, it's... it's a camera lens, that's all. A camera lens? Yeah. Borrowed it from Frau Junter. <laughs> I've just made her acquaintance. A real charmer, isn't she? And she never lets me have a go of her gear anyway. I only wanted to help her film something. I bet she's jealous. Whether she's jealous or not, you still shouldn't go playing with things that don't belong to you, Lenny. Especially if you've been told not to. You're not my mother, so there. And if you tell on me, I'll tell my father to get rid of you. Oh, is that so, little colonel? It sure is, soldier. God, can this place get any worse? Leon, dear, do make an effort. I'm better off leaving the little pest alone.
I think Herr Gustav would not like it if I left the refuge during the service. So I had better stick around. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way, at least, I won't get rusty. Those paintings. I think Herr Gustav wanted me to help him choose the one he should buy. He must have left me a note somewhere. Hmm, I should take a closer look at those paintings before choosing one. I think I'll pick this one. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the client. That's it. Hold it. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way, at least, I won't get rusty. Looks like there's something wrong with the airflow. I need to add more wood in the fire. Hmm, looks all good to me. Better try another one. That one is loose. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
Nope. Hmm. Looks all good to me. That should fit pretty much anywhere on the stove. That should fit pretty much anywhere on the stove. Impossible. No. Wow. I've never seen a stove like this. It must be one of Herr Gustav's inventions that everyone talks about down in Wagen. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. There's no one to serve upstairs. And besides, there's still much to do down here. I don't want to let Herr Gustav down. Here's the neighbor. Here's the neighbor. I already took care of all the orders for that kind of beer. Here's the neighbor. Keg's empty. I need to change it. Here's the neighbor. So this is the Spitze. That should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now.
No, we'll have to go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I say they've taken to the higher ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chaps. Gentlemen, your drinks? Ah, good on you, lassie. Forced, make yourself useful and pass these around. First day, is it? Better make a wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can grant you. They show all the different locations of an expedition we're planning. I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> oh no, Fraulein. We're only here for the beer and a pretty smile. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Baltayar. <clears throat> right. And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar, a remote region in the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And what's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself, but the code name is Origin. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity. And what about you, gentlemen? Well, let me introduce you to my dream team. Horst Sauer, talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass of your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger, biologist. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the Origin Expedition in return for funding for our own projects back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh yes, of course, Herr Berger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. I'm curious to know what this Origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. Put it this way, Fraulein Dana. If, uh, when, we discover what we're looking for, you will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. You will tell your grandchildren that you served the Origin team, the team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. Oh, I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, Horst. <laughs> I'm sure it's all very interesting, but I must admit I'm more into the arts myself. Music, mostly.
Come, gentlemen, here's to the Brown Shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition, which is sure to redefine our understanding of mankind. Oh, I see we're fraternizing with the personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our general sponsor, Herr Hertz. May I remind you that this mission, financed by my party, is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, Herr Hertz. It means, gentlemen, it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. What a brute. That is one of the inconveniences of working with a heavily politicized private sponsor. But he's just doing his job. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. The way of the world, Herr Berger? I'm sorry, but in case you do not know, let me tell you what members of the Brown Shadow do to Vagarins like me. They... They smash windows. They assault innocent people for no reason at all. They are fascists and criminals, Herr Berger. With all due respect, don't you feel ashamed to be associated with such... Such tyrants? I would be careful when expressing such extreme accusations, Fraulein. There are always overzealous members of any party, always have been. And even so, we are not politicians. We do not claim to save humanity. Our job is to explain how it came about. Why, if the scientific community had to hold progress at every political crossroads, then humanity would never have advanced any further than Homo erectus. Dana! Dana, chop chop. This isn't a French parlor, my girl. Yes, Herr Gustav. I... I'd better go. Thank you, gentlemen. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. There, like that. Try not to move now, darling. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. I think Herr Gustav would not like it if I left the refuge during the service. So I had better stick around. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way, at least, I won't get rusty. There's no one to serve upstairs. And besides, there's still much to do down here. I don't want to let Herr Gustav down.
justice. Off you go, my girl. You'll be fine. And there's no need to be nervous. I'm here if there's the slightest problem. And there won't be. <laughs> Off you go, my girl. You'll be fine. Looks like the customers don't need me anymore. I'd better check the stove. Looks like there's something wrong with the airflow. I need to add more wood in the fire. Hmm. Looks all good to me. This mechanism controls the air intake, if I remember correctly. The airflow seems right now, but I think the fire is too weak. I need to add more wood in the fire. There's no one to serve upstairs. And besides, there's still much to do down here. I don't want to let Herr Gustav down. And there's no need to be nervous. I'm here if there's the slightest problem. And there won't be. <laughs> Looks like the customers don't need me anymore. I'd better check the stove.
It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Better try another one. Hmm. Looks all good to me. No. Perfectly dry. That's it. I'm done here. I've done all that Herr Gustav told me to do. I'd better go and tell him. All right. Fine. No more orders and everyone served. That's the go. Now listen, Dana. I know... You know, the brown shadow is dangerous, right? So for heaven's sake, keep your feelings to yourself. And refrain from answering her burger back like you did, eh? The brown shadow is not something you can just chit-chat about. But... Look, it's not safe. And it will only come back and bite you. Mark my words, Dana. Especially in today's climate. I only... Dana, I know. Just be careful. No one wants problems with fascists. You get my drift? And may I remind you that I warned you earlier when you asked me for advice. So I'll tell you one last time. Don't get drawn in. Do you hear me, Dana? So, young lady, you're still after the academy in the fall, are you not? What you waiting for, then? Get back to your practicing. And play us a nice tune while you're at it. All right then, I will. Thank you, Herr Gustav. Play something melodious this time. It'll make a nice change from the military pieces some of the patrons have been requesting of late. Well, yeah, that's right. Herr Gustav did a pretty good job repairing that key I broke yesterday.
Leon, what are you doing? I want to catch the light. Oh, uh, gosh, um, I, I hope I haven't... Bravo! 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 Bravo. Bravo. Clap! How can you clap? Oh, so you like the noise, do you? Do you? Well, you should be ashamed, ashamed, I say, to applaud the music of a, of a, of a treacherous Polish separatist, rebel rousing. It's this kind of rebel rousing that puts the poison of Marxist Vagarian ideology in the minds of honest people. And those who partake in its vulgarization are accessory to treason! You are drunk, Herr Haas. <laughs> Out of my way, boy. <laughs> oh, oh. Come, Fräulein. Best clear off until the dust settles. You should have seen me then, Fräulein Walker. I was so young and eager to witness whatever could happen between Dana and Leon. I needed to know, to be included one way or another. Not now, Lenny. Shouldn't you be in bed? Don't you have some dolls to dress or something?
Honestly, Yunta is not that good. I'm sure I could do better if only I could practice a bit. I'm so glad I started this collection of photos. When I grow up, I'll travel all around the world and photograph everywhere I go. When I'm old, the wall will be covered with them. I'm so glad I started this collection of photos. When I grow up, I'll travel all around the world and photograph everywhere I go. When I'm old, the wall will be covered with them. You all right? Yeah, I thought so. It's just that if I had retaliated, I would have lost my job, you know? Believe me, I came this close to not being able to pay for my studies at the Academy after the holidays. Forget it. He was blind drunk. Won't even remember it come tomorrow. All Gustav could see it wasn't your fault. Besides, you didn't see him after your performance. Ecstatic he was. There are more and more people like that brute. They don't even bother to hide their hatred anymore. It's like they've been given a mission, or perhaps I should say permission, to abuse people like me, as if Vagarins had suddenly become the scourge of society. And we're powerless to act because if we did, we'd lose our home. My parents? They've become a bundle of nerves. They can't sleep at night. Only last week, our shop window got smashed again. And our neighbors? They couldn't care less. And neither could the authorities. What's wrong? Did my rant frighten you? Well, yes. Yes, it did. I mean, not you, Fräulein. But what you said about the fascists. You've put my own suspicions into words, Fräulein. Because what you say about the brown shadow is true, and that's what worries me. I used to think they were just a bunch of cranks in their ridiculous uniforms. But now I can see these lunatics really are serious. Deadly serious. But you did know who was behind the Origin Expedition. Never gave it much thought, to be honest. Only met Huss and the scientists today. For me, they were no different from any other group I've trained. If I'd have known that, I'd have had second thoughts. Actually, do you know what? What? I'm going to stop training you. Can you do that? It's still a free country, right? So after a few weeks' notice, I'll be off the hook. At least, I get to spend the summer here with you. Painting. But I don't paint. No, you play. I paint. It's my passion. And you can be my muse. Is that what you say to all the girls? No. Never. Hello, you two lovebirds. Everyone's going to bed, so you better come back inside or you'll catch cold, or worse. And that's how Dana pipped everyone at the post. It only took one look for Leon to fall head over heels in love with her. And it didn't take much for Dana to fall for him. Love at first sight, you might say.
the whole band stayed at the chalet all summer long. Then, I suppose, everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They too went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fraulein Walker, is all there is to it. Do you know if she's still alive? Can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fraulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? No idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or... Anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... In Father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Junta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like, even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Junta left. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. Thank you so much. <laughs>